Hey guys, welcome back to another video. I'm sorry I sound like a frog, but finally I got sick. For two years, I have been so good because of COVID, I haven't gotten sick once and now it caught up with me and I am dying from a regular cold. Anyway, I promised you guys that every single Wednesday we will be talking about the Airtable system and slowly building out that custom TMS system together. So today I am going to be teaching you how to build out a spreadsheet related to audit files because this is something that is required by the FMCSA and it's required to pass your new entrant audit. So why not do it in the TMS system? Now, as you will see later in this video, I mentioned that I might be making a video of how we are passing the new entrant audit for our baby company. We have not been called for it yet, but when we do, I think it would be very beneficial to make a video of what it looks like. Ready? Let's go. Okay, guys. So today we're going to be creating a spreadsheet for your audit files. Again, this TMS system that I created was meant to keep everything in one place. So it's not only for reporting, it's also to keep all your documents in one place. Now I'm one of those people who wears suspenders with a belt. So I double all of that information also in my Dropbox account, but I do keep everything here as well. So let's go ahead and get started. As always, this part is going to be blanked out because it's a ton of personal information, but let's go ahead and add a base. So the first thing you want to do, of course, is you want to rename this base and we'll put in audit files and we'll make it a very painful gray color. Is there a sad face here? Yes, there is. There we go. Um, this spreadsheet gives me anxiety because I know that at any point there could be an audit. Um, apart from the new entrant audit, there are also random audits that you can go through, especially if something happens on the road. But anyway, that's besides the point. So let's go ahead and build out this audit file spreadsheet. Okay, so the first thing I want to do is I want to create the tabs. So tab number one right here, I have my equipment list. Then we have uh, a new empty table and this is a list of drivers. Then we create another one, create an empty table. We'll create a maintenance. Well, we'll just call it maintenance. And then another one and we'll call it documents. There we go. So now let's go step by step. So for the equipment list, in your files, you have to have a list of your equipment and the Airtable system makes it pretty easy to have that. So the first thing I want you to do is I want you to delete these three tabs. Again, just as a reminder, you click the arrow, you click delete field, and you do that a couple more times. Now for this column right here, what I like to name it is make and model. I'll save it. Then we click right here, we choose single select and we'll put in type. Now, what are we going to put here? Let's put in some options right away. So option number one is this is a truck. Option number two, this is a trailer, trailer one. Option number three, it's a reefer unit. Create field, you're good to go. Now we want another field and we'll do a single line text and we'll name it year. Then we'll put in another single line text and we'll call it unit number. Then I also like to have single line text and I put in tire size. This is really important to have. Next, we want another single line text then or serial number. Then what I like to have is a single select ownership. And what I like to do is owned leased. Is the equipment owned or is it leased? Then we can have another single line text. We'll put in plate number. Then we'll have another single line text state for the plate number. Then you need a date tab and we will put in in use since. Now this might seem a little silly, but this is a requirement by the FMCSA. This is something you have to have in your documents under your equipment list. 
since when is this equipment being used? Now you can also choose the date format. I like to keep it like this, create field. Then I like to put in uh, attachment. And what I put here is the registration for this uh, equipment type. And then we'll put in another thing right here. Well, actually we can put in right now. We'll add a field, we'll link to another record, and we'll link it to maintenance so that we can see, and we'll name it maintenance. So when we look at our equipment list, we can see right away what maintenance was performed on this type of equipment. Now let's go ahead and fill it out so you can see how it works. So let's say you have a truck. Let's say it's a Freightliner Cascadia. Uh, the type is a truck. Let's say it's a 2018 model. Let's say you chose the unit number to be uh, 845. Let's say your tire size for this truck is all the same. It's 275.80. There we go. Let's say your VIN number is 1, AKJHH, and then we'll put in some numbers. Uh, you lease the truck. The plate number is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, apportioned, which means IRP. Uh, let's say you're in the state of Texas, because I like that state, and you've been using this vehicle since April 1st. You would put in, you can just drop in the files here for registration, or you can add an attachment. And this you just leave blank. Then let's say you have a reefer. Let's say you have a Wabash uh, Arctic Light. And this would be a trailer and it's a 2019 model. You decide to give this trailer number 205. Tire size for the trailer will be 295 over 75, something like this. We'll put in some kind of VIN. Let's say you own the trailer here. You have a plate number and it's also from Texas and in use since also April 1st. And then let's say you also want to keep track of your reefer unit and you have a Thermo King S600. Uh, and this would be a reefer unit. Let's say it's a 2020 model. Uh, it does not have a unit number. It does not have a tire size. It has some kind of serial number um, and it's owned. It does not have a plate number or a state and a nuisance for one. And then you can put in the registration here. Okay, now we got the equipment list done, which is awesome. Now let's put in the list of drivers. Uh, for the FMCSA, you have to maintain a list of drivers, even if it's just you, the owner of the company, driving for your own company. So what we're going to do under the list of drivers now is we're going to once again delete all of these fields. We're going to put in a name. Let's say your name is Jane Smith. Then you want to put in a date which I keep losing date. You have to have the date of birth here. Then you need to have date of hire, which is again, date, date of hire. And yes, this applies even if you are the only one working in your company. Then choose single line text, license number. You have to have that. You will also have to have the license state. I also like to have a date tab right here, medical card valid until, and this just helps me keep track of everything. Uh, then I also like to have a date here, date of last random testing. So now that we have this, what we can do is start filling it out. So let's say Jane Smith is the owner of the company and she's an owner operator. She's the only one driving in her company. So let's say her date of birth is December 27, 1975. And she hired herself for her company 
on April 1st. That's when she opened her company. Uh, then she has some kind of license number from the state of Texas because I love Texas. And since she just got her medical card, it will be valid until 4-1-2023, let's say. Let's say it's just for a year. And she just got her uh, pre-employment uh, testing done on April 1st or let's say March 29th. There we go. There is our driver. Now, another thing you can add in, uh, which I do, and this is just because I like organizing, uh, you can add a field and put in single select right here. Uh, and you can uh, put in type and I will put in uh, owner operator or company driver and create the field and that way you know here it's an owner operator but if she hires someone let's say uh jimmy doe <laughs> uh, and she hires him he's a company driver she would put in all of that information here as well so okay we're done with the drivers list now let's go on to the maintenance tab okay so the first thing i want you to do as always is i want you to delete the notes I want you to delete the attachments. I want you to delete the status. I do not want you to delete the equipment list. Remember, maintenance is going to be related to the equipment list as well. So don't delete this part. So what we're going to do is, number one, we're going to change this column from name to date. So we're going to customize field type. We're going to select date, and we're going to put in date. This is the date of the maintenance. Then we're gonna start adding some tabs. Okay, number one, I like to put in type and this will be a single select. And what uh, I like to put here is number one, it's a repair, it's uh, maintenance, or it might be an inspection. And then you create a field. Then I like to put in a single line text and I will put in odometer, the odometer at which point you did the maintenance or repair or inspection. Then I like to put in a long text and we'll put in notes here. And another thing you want to do is a long text next do. Now this is very, very important. You want to also put in attachments. Okay, so it's very important to have it set up like this because again, this is something required by the FMCSA. You can do it, uh, you know, just in a regular Excel. If this is easier, you do have to have this document though. You have to have your maintenance for each piece of equipment you have. So let's go ahead, I'll show you how to fill it out. So let's say uh, that you did maintenance on Sunday, the 1st of May and you did it on your truck and because this is already linked to the equipment list all you have to do is press plus and you will choose the truck right here the type let's say it's a maintenance the odometer let's say it's 380,400 miles let's say you're doing a level 2 maintenance right here Next, due. So what I like to do here is put in when the next maintenance will be due according to the maintenance schedule. So I can put in, for example, level one will be due at 395,960 miles. Uh, level two will be due at 470,960. Level three at some other odometer reading, et cetera, et cetera. And then I can put in the maintenance that was done on this Freightliner Cascadia on May 1st. And that way you can start building up your maintenance record. And if you're a new company, you will have your new entrant audit. This will really impress the auditor. So keep track of all your maintenance this way. It's very important. Let's say that on uh, May 9th, you had an issue with your trailer tire. So you click on your trailer because that's where you perform the repair and it will be a repair. Uh, we'll put in the odometer is not available for trailer, but let's say it was at 382,400 miles on the truck and let's say it was a trailer tire repair and then you will put in the next uh, time you need to do your maintenance on your 
trailer and you'll put in the attachment right here so it becomes really easy and the best part is when you go back to your equipment list look at this you can see when you did your maintenance here so on uh, May 1st you did maintenance on your truck on May 9th you did a repair on your trailer and it will keep populating that data which is awesome now the final thing for the audit files is the document so let's go ahead and set this up really quickly once again let's delete a bunch of things here delete 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 and keep only the first name field right here we're gonna just make it very very long well not that long there we go so the next thing i want you to do is add a field and link to another record and we are going to link it to the list of drivers we'll name it drivers so now we want to put in another one and we're going to do a single select and we're going to name it type and what we're going to put here is a uh, driver qualification file authority insurance general files accident register and create the field next we want to put in attachment and we will name it attachment and another thing i like to put in is date and update do so this is the end all be all of your audit files this is where you're going to keep all your documents so let's start filling some of these out uh, let's start with the driver qualification file for example annual review of driver records cdl driver application and remember, even if you are the only person working in your own company, you still have to have a driver application. It's super important. Driver road test, drug and alcohol consortium, enrollment inquiry to previous employers, medical card inquiry for MVR, motor vehicle record, medical examiner certification, I meant verification, not certification. <laughs> Compliance with driver license requirements, pre-employment drug test, MVR, pre-driving HOS record, and so on and so forth. Now this all goes under the driver qualification, uh, which you entered in under type. Now to fill this whole thing in, all you do is you click on this corner right here, click on it and drag it down. There we go. Now you have all your driver qualification files right here. It's going to populate it in just a moment. See, it's filling. Okay. My system is being very, very slow. Uh, anyway, so now what we want to do is we want to also have an accident register. This is a must have. Uh, we have it right here. And then you have to have all those general files. Like for example, under general files, I keep things like the uh, drug and alcohol policy uh, and so on and so forth. Under authority, uh, I keep the 2290 and the certificate of authority and the CARB and the, I don't know, the IRP, IFTA, all of those files I keep here. So this is how you would want to do it. Now, for the driver qualification file, you want to tie uh, these files to a certain driver, right? So all you do is under drivers, where you linked it to the list of drivers, you click the plus button and you click, for example, James Smith. There we go. And uh, you can populate it like this, but unfortunately my system is being very slow. Oh no, it actually cooperated the first time in its life. Now, another thing I like to do is for example, annual review of driver records. I will actually put in an attachment here of the annual review of driver records. Here I'll put the attachment of the CDL of the driver who this record belongs to and so on and so forth. Now, certain things like, for example, the medical card, I will put in when the update of those things are due. Uh, for example, the medical card is one of them. The annual review of driver records is another one. It has to be done every single year and so on and so forth. And that way you have all your documents in one place.
place. So this is a great way to just keep track of everything and pass that new entrant audit with flying colors. Uh, if you guys have any questions about new entrant audits, let me know. I might make a video of how we're passing ours for our baby company, uh, the one with the dry van. We haven't been called for it yet, but when we do, we're gonna do it together. I think that's what I'm going to do. So I hope you guys found this video helpful and I'll see you guys in the next one.